Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Tabitha Marie and welcome to today's video. I am doing a video on cleaning my daughter's toy room. She has a room upstairs, but she doesn't sleep upstairs yet. So this is where we keep her toys. And as you can see, there are quite a few toys. I went ahead and moved that black video game chair out of the way and slid some of the items down and I'm just moving things around trying to see where I want to put stuff. As you can see, she has a lot of toys. And believe it or not, most of the toys, about 80% are thrifted. So that's her thing. She loves toys. She does a good job at finding them. But I'm just trying to go through and organize because her stuff is all over the place. And eventually, we will transition these items to her room upstairs. But it's just more convenient to keep them downstairs more accessible and we don't use this room anywhere i think it's supposed to be a formal living room but it's kind of a lounge area slash playroom slash office space so i am just going through trying to cram as much as i can into this purple box the goal was to only have one box of toys but in three years we have just collected so many things, guys. It's ridiculous. Look at his socks. <laughs> All kinds of things. So again, I'm just going through, placing things around. I like to vacuum each space once I clean it up. Keep my new leggings <laughs> that I hauled in a thrift video. I'll link it below. So I remember that I had this upstairs in her room. We used to use it for her baby, you know, clothes and goodies. But I thought this would be good so that she could reach like her everyday toys. Because there are some items that she plays with pretty much on a daily basis. Like blocks or books. Or, you know, tiny pieces that are probably at the bottom of this bin. So what I'm doing now is just trying to take out what I would consider her everyday toys and make them more accessible to her. So in that little container, she has like little kitchen pieces and um, all kinds of pretend toys and food and I kind of like to keep those together because she does cook us food at least once or twice a day so <laughs> for those of you who don't know I am a stay-at-home mom and I work a part-time job about two to three days a week so most of the time we're at home playing with those toys and this cleanup video is just something that's much needed and I generally clean her toys section about once every three to four months just because she's always getting new toys whenever we go thrifting or you know grandparents buy her stuff here and there so I try to get rid of stuff I donate it to this daycare that's up the street from us so if you have old things or nice gently used toys See if a daycare or child care center, child care center will accept those gently used toys or you can donate them to your church or back to the Goodwill, or <laughs> which is what happens to some of the toys that the child care does not need. But again, I'm just trying to sort through and organize those toys accordingly.
Okay, so I'm pretty much done with that portion of the room. And I just opened the drawer so you guys can kind of see. I would kind of put collectible pieces, potato heads, and organize each drawer to where she will know exactly where things are. But this is the other side of the room where we just have some things that we really need to get rid of. I'm going to keep the table and the little art easel. But the um, little car I'm going to give to my nephew because she's outgrown it. And I got it at a thrift store for like five bucks. And then there's a Peppa Pan ball set. But I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to store it in her room closet. So I, again, I like to vacuum the area once I've moved all the pieces. sofa we're getting rid of it in just a few weeks but for right now I'm just gonna slide it over so that this whole entire left side of the room will be hers with all of her little stuff together so it's in one place again I'm cleaning which is always a good idea whenever you move things go ahead and vacuum or sweep the area just to you know make it new and fresh again so I'm just taking her little art easel that has like her crayons and paper that she draws on. I'm moving those tables. I like to stack it behind there because it takes up less space. Putting her little recliner chair and little chairs over there. So I'm just putting that gaming chair in the corner by my desk. That is pretty much it guys. So this is the finished product. I think it looks better than before because for me, I I would rather have all of her items on one side of the room kind of out of sight versus everywhere. And this is Jules Reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.